Hey, what's up? It's Bill Crawford. I'm hanging here with my buddy Jordan. Happy race course preview. Let's do how, it. How you doing? I'm good. I'm cold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little nervous. This is the longest run so far, so this is 11 miles. Yeah. But I am really excited because I know that we get through today. When we get to the race day on May 5th, we'll be good. Yeah. You got to be proud of yourself for yeah. what you've already accomplished. Yeah. Like, I don't have a ton of advice for you because you've already done it all. Yeah, I think I think it's just having that. I think today is hopefully going to instill the confidence in me because yeah. I've done the work. You know, it's just like I, I followed the plan. I've done the work. So hopefully that means that, you know, we get through today and I finish it and finish strong and feel get really it, good. Get it under yeah. Your belt. I've never at least for like a physical activity committed to something this hard and this long i mean it's been yeah. over four months now that i've missed one day and um it just so that alone like you're right feels like a success and i wouldn't have done it i would have never committed to something this hard if it wasn't for like signing up for the half marathon in november you know yeah. before it even started so it feels really good to be That's here so awesome. um and i'm excited to to get going today what i love about this whole process is that you start to forge a new identity for yourself. Yep. Now you are the guy who wakes up early. Yep. You're the guy that runs through pain. You're the guy yep. that takes care of his body. Yeah. So now there is no real excuse to like not take the garbage out right. or not be able to do hard yeah. things around the yeah. house or for your kids. Yeah, and it's been nice too because I'm not the guy that keeps buying bigger pants. Now I'm going <laughs> back to my old pants and maybe buying yeah. smaller pants. So that is really good too. Man, I like that. <laughs> it's, dude, I'm proud of you. Thank you. And uh, today is really just a celebration yep. of all the work you put in and, um, and an opportunity to gain a little bit of confidence. Uh, and, and just know that you already you are you already got this. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy to think that you've gone in four months from an idea in your head yep. of a life that you wanted for yourself to you're here now. Yep. Like we're here. Yep. The future is right now. Yep. So what would you what would you tell somebody who's out there right now, maybe watching this video, who kinda has this idea brewing in the back of their mind? but is maybe a little trepidatious to, to start a journey like this. What, what would you say to them? What's, what's the advice? Uh, I think two things. I think number one is just take it past thinking about it and just say, I'm going to start. Give yourself, maybe it's not like I'm gonna start tomorrow because sometimes that can almost feel overwhelming, right? Like maybe yeah. you need a little bit of time, but set a start date and just start. So maybe it is a week, maybe it's two weeks, maybe you have to get the gear that you need or maybe you need to, heal that knee or ankle that's hurting a little bit, but just set a date and start and then like know like this is what I'm committing to. But then also once you've started, I think something for me is that I'm, like most people, pretty hard on myself. So like when I first started running in January and like the first exercise is maybe running 25 minutes or like that first Saturday runs like three miles, yeah. don't get discouraged if it takes you 45 minutes to run three miles. Right. Like you still ran three miles and you still ran three more than the person that was just sitting and thinking yeah. about it. Like once yeah. you start, you just gotta keep going. And um, you know, again, I think it goes back to giving yourself grace in the sense that like, oh, I was supposed to wake up and run this morning, but went to bed late and I couldn't do it. But then find a way to do it in the afternoon. Yeah. Like don't beat yourself up if right. like you're not as fast or you don't feel as great every day or you don't do it at the same time. But like as long as you get those miles or you get that time in, that work and that um, discipline, the, the discipline, you build yeah. that discipline, but the benefits of like, you know, the cardiovascular fitness that you get, it still happens whether it's six in the morning or it's right. six at night, right. or it took, you know, 45 minutes to run three miles or 30 minutes, like you're still getting it. So I think, you know, to come back around, it's just like, just commit to it, commit to a day and make that your day to start. Yeah. And then each day after that, keep committing every day, but also consistency, consistency but be great, but have grace for yourself and, and forgive yeah. yourself if it's not perfect every time, as long as you're getting the work in, the benefits will be there. I'm proud of you, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate great it. Great stuff. Thank I you. can't wait to uh, to cross the finish line with you on May 5th. And awesome. uh, let's get after it today. Let's, let's win this thing today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>